First and only on four, we've learned that five Edinburgh police officers are now on administrative leave with pay after an officer-involved shooting that left a man dead. Tonight, Action 4's Annalise Ortiz talked with that man's wife, and she joins us live in Edinburgh with more. Actually, let's go right now to her story. It's been like a nightmare. It's been terrible. And Helica Lopez can't help but to think. What would have happened if Edinburgh police had never responded to a call that brought them to her home on July 7th? When we call an officer, when we call them, we, we always think that they're here to serve and protect, not to shoot and kill. Officers responded after her husband, 39-year-old Jose Graciano Lopez, allegedly locked himself in their home and threatened to take his own life. Her husband, she says, suffered from mental health issues. Something was wrong with him. He was not in his right that day. What followed was an officer-involved shooting, causing Edinburgh police to turn the case over to the Texas Rangers. The Rangers will not release details on how Lopez died or who fired shots. But Lopez says things aren't adding up. I at least know that part. I know they fired at him. I know they did. She says she found bullets under the carpet of her home that investigators had not accounted for, leaving her with questions that remain unanswered. They need to give detail of what happened. We found out today five Edinburgh police officers are on administrative leave with pay, according to Edinburgh Police Sergeant Orlando Garcia. But Lopez says that's not enough. How can these men be paid for when, um, they did not they did not do a good job for now she and her children will struggle to move forward as they wait for more answers about the shooting of their husband and father Despite Action 4 News' repeated requests for comment, Edinburgh police will not identify those five officers who have been placed on paid administrative leave. They are referring all of their questions to the Texas Rangers, who say they cannot comment until the investigation is closed. Live in Edinburgh, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News.